this camera right here. What is going on, guys? See a couple of you in the chat room. Everybody logging in right now. Shane Sam's here from the Flipped Lifestyle Podcast. FlippedLifestyle.com and editor at large. <laughs> editor, chief editor of ProlificMonthly.com. And I uh, want to welcome you to today's free training. We've got a bunch of people logging in right now. If you are logging in over on Zoom in the chat, I want you to go ahead and say hello. Tell me who you are. Tell me where you're from. Uh, and tell me if you're excited about learning about how to price your memberships. So we're going to talk about pricing today. We're going to talk about uh, discounting your prices so that you can have sales and you can have promotions. And also, importantly, we're going to talk about promoting your products, promoting your prices. It doesn't help if you have products, doesn't help if you have uh, prices, doesn't help if you have discounts, if you are not out and doing a good job promoting everything. See Laura from Kentucky. Hey, Laura, how are you doing today? Good to see you. Let me make sure my uh, microphone is working here. So if you can hear me and see me, let's do a quick audio and tech check. And then I think I'm going to also go live on Facebook real quick too. Uh, to go ahead and get to Facebook live here. So let me know if you can hear me and you can see me. What's up, Brandon from Northern Virginia? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, Laura says that she can see and hear me. Do I sound crystal clear or do I sound a little echo? I want to make sure this microphone is picking up. Crystal is here. She is raising her prices to reopen her membership next week. So this is a perfect, perfect opportunity uh, to get fired up for Crystal. All right, I see Judy in the house. See Priscilla from Newport Beach. And uh, I wish I was at Newport Beach right now because Kentucky is cold. It is frosty. I, got a, I, got a, I took a frosty picture of our uh, lake behind our house this morning because it was frosty, y'all. I mean, there was like ice on top of the deck and the dock, and I'm going to share that on Instagram later. So check that out. All right, so give me one second. Um, whatever questions you might have about prices today, I'm going to be uh, – I already see one question in the Q&A box. So if you've got a question in the Q&A box, go ahead and put that there. At the bottom of your screen, it should say Q&A. Um, also, if you are chatting, make sure that it says all panelists and attendees. All panelists and attendees. Make sure it says that so everybody can see uh, anything you chat. And if you've got any questions about prices, go ahead and ask them right now, even if you think I might cover it, even if you uh, – think that we're going to go over it, even if you think we're going to talk about it a little bit in the chat box, go ahead and ask your questions now. I'd love to have a bunch of questions waiting for me. Anything about memberships is fair game today. Usually I keep it pretty tight, but you know, uh, we're talking about pricing our memberships. We're talking about creating product offers inside of our memberships and our subscription communities. And it's all kind of interwoven. It's all kind of related. So if you want to talk about sales, if you want to talk about promoting your products, if you want to talk about the marketing of it, we're going to focus the training on price. All right, because I've had so many questions about price uh, going into 2020 here, going into the new year, people getting ready to launch memberships, people raising their prices on their memberships. Um, I thought, you know what? I need to do a training for this. So uh, welcome, Martha from Boston. Good to see you here, Martha. How you doing? Good friend, Martha. Martha's a good friend of ours. All right, let me, um, give me one second here. I'm going to go live on Facebook as well. So give me one. Whoop, that's wrong. That's sharing my screen. That's not what I want to do. Do not want to do that. All right, so I'm going more here. And we're going to go live on Facebook real quick. Give me one second, guys, just to go live on Facebook. Thank you for bearing with me. So excited you're here today. Still haven't heard from everybody. There's more people in the chat uh, than there are uh, in the, the – uh, there's more people in the room than there are in the chat box. So who are you? Don't be a lurker. You can lurk for the rest of the webinar, but I want to know who you are right now. I'm, uh, give me just one second to post this so I can go live on Facebook with this as well on our Facebook page, but I want to know who you are and, how, and where you're from. Let me see here. All right, click next. Almost there. T.C. Miller, Canada representing in the house. What's going on, T.C.? How y'all doing today? All right, let's see here. Almost going live. I got to figure out how to do this before I go live on the actual webinar stream. I'm going to go live here, and we will get after it in just a second. If you've got a question about memberships, subscriptions, or prices, Go ahead. Stop waiting. Why do, why do people wait? Take action. Click on that Q&A button and uh, go ahead and log in right now and tell me your question. I will answer. I'm going to have a live Q&A at the end of today's presentation. And as soon as I can get live here on Facebook, uh, I'm going to go live on Facebook and in the webinar chat. I'm only going to answer questions, I think, from the webinar chat today, though. So if you want to do that, go ahead. I'm going to give this about 30 more seconds and see if it will go. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on here. All right, so I'm going to let that load up. Uh, real quick, I want to tell you today that uh, our exciting pricing membership webinar today is brought to you by 
me and Jocelyn. We're the, we do not take any ads. We do not do sponsorships. We are 100% self-supported by you, our community, our audience, our podcast listeners, our Flip Your Life community members. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting us and everything we do. Your support allows us to support you. We want to help as many people as possible start building, and growing and online income. Uh, 2020, new year, new decade coming up. Joss and I have got some big goals. We've got a new podcast coming out here in a couple of weeks. It's our 2020 uh, reflect, 2019 reflection slash uh, 2020 goals. And what Joss and I are actually making a bunch of uh, questions for each other, but we're not going to tell each other what they are until we do the actual podcast. So you can look for that coming out soon. Got some great success stories coming up over on the Flip Lifestyle Podcast too. And also brought to you by Prolific Monthly. That is my print marketing newsletter. If you have a membership or a subscription and you would like help in 2020, help next year marketing your memberships, this is the thing you need to sign up for. It is a print newsletter that comes to your mailbox every single month. And you're going to have a calendar inside it that tells you what to do every single day uh, to promote your product. And I'm actually doing a sale right now. Wanted to tell you guys that real quick. Uh, before we get started here, and while Facebook tries to load, but I don't think it's going to for me. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I'm having a sale right now on our annual plan. We just started offering annual plans last month. Uh, we opened it up at $9.97 uh, for the year. Prolific Monthly is $97 a month, uh, but that was two months free on the annual plan. But I'm knocking another 20% off for the next 24 hours for our annual plan for Prolific Monthly. Uh, you can get it right now and save up almost $400 on the monthly price. That is a good price uh, for new subscribers. That is also a uh, price for current subscribers. If you'd like to go ahead and sign up for the year and you'd like to get rid of that monthly payment and you wanna just commit and go all in on Prolific Monthly for 2020 so that we can help you with your marketing every single day next year, then knock that out and we will help you. So. All right, so check that out. While we're sitting here, I'm going to go ahead and start the training. I cannot get connected to Facebook Live. So I may be on Facebook Live. I don't even know if it's working right now. Uh, I'm going to stop live stream. We're just going to go live right here, and I'll publish it later, okay? All right, so today's webinar, again, is going to be all about pricing memberships and subscriptions. There is a huge difference in pricing memberships and subscriptions compared to digital courses, coaching, anything else, because you are having to think about a lot of different variables, right? You're going to be thinking about, you know, people are going to be paying this every single month, right? So you got to find that sweet spot to make it affordable. You've got to get your value proposition down pat and say, hey, this is why this is worth it for a month. This is why this is worth it over and over. This is why you should keep paying me again, again, and again. And we know that pricing your products can be really scary. Who here is scared their price is wrong? I want to know. That's what I know. I know some of you have memberships right now. I know some people in the room. I know you have memberships. Who is getting ready to launch a membership? Who's even dreaming about a product, but you're scared to death that nobody is going to pay you or they're not going to pay you what you're worth. Or maybe you're not charging enough because you put a lot of stinking work into this membership side, into your training area, into your monthly Q and A's. Like who in this chat room right now is like a little, little concerned about your pricing, not really sure if you're doing the right thing. Or maybe you think, hey, I think that there's more profit I could get out of this. I think that this is worth more than I'm charging now. Uh, let me know uh, who in the, in the chat. I'll tell you a little story about how Jocelyn and I started our membership site, right? And how we came out uh, with our first prices. So. We had been in business for a couple years um, before we started doing memberships and subscriptions. And now Joss and I only exclusively period do monthly subscriptions and annual subscriptions. That's the only thing we sell. If you want to get access to any of our content, if you want to get access to us, you have to join our subscription services. You've got to join our memberships because we love memberships. We know now that they create stable, predictable income. I was just looking at the next three months projections because I'm getting ready to hire someone and I want to make sure that I got plenty of money there to hire them. And I can do that because I know my numbers and I know I've got X members. They're paying me a certain amount of money every single month. And I know that that's going, and, and the average customer stays so many months so I can predict in the future how much money I'm going to make. And that is not true with a lot of online business models. It's certainly not true with coaching because people can just leave you at any time. It's certainly not true with digital courses because you don't know what you're going to sell next month. Just because you're going to have a webinar, that doesn't mean you're going to sell anything, right? 
So it creates this predictable income. But when we first started out, we sold courses. We sold packages of PDFs. We sold videos. That's all we sold. So we had to get up every day, live, launch the launch. We had to hump it. We had to go and we had to make those sales. So we decided to go to a live event on the other side of the planet Earth, literally exactly the opposite in time zone from us. Uh, to learn about online business, to learn about memberships. So it was about 2015. We really wanted to take our game, our business, everything to the next level. We'd already quit our jobs, but we weren't happy living launch to launch. We weren't happy with just, you know, oh, oh I made some sales. Sweet. Oh, wait, I got to do it again. We, were, we just weren't happy with that. So we wanted to go learn some new methods, some new experiences, and some new tricks of the trade. So we went over to Cebu, Philippines to a live event. And we met a guy there that introduced us to the membership model. Now, this was a huge expense to us. I mean, we flew halfway across the world. We spent thousands of dollars on the tickets to this event. We spent thousands of dollars on the airplane ride. And by the time we got there, we were probably 10 grand into this trip, right? Like so this was, and back then, you know, we weren't making a ton of money. We were, we were doing good. We were self-employed. We were making good money, you know, during the back to school seasons because we used to sell uh, lesson plans. And, you know, we were doing pretty good, but we, want, we wanted that more consistent area. But that was still a lot of money for us. Like we had never spent that much money on anything before, including like a car <laughs> up to that point in our life. So it was a lot of money to spend to get over there. And we talked to this coach and this coach was really expensive. And we hired this guy and he was like $12,000 a year just to be able to talk to him like once a week. Right. But he introduced us to the membership model and he ta started talking about, you know, Hey, if you just get monthly people and you get like a hundred people in there, you know, you, your income is going to become more consistent. You can go out and spread your message. You can sell more memberships because you can offer it at a lower price. You know, you don't have to get on a webinar and sell it for a thousand dollars every time somebody tells you to do that, right? On the, the ads that you see in your Facebook newsfeed. And he's like, man, this is a really good thing. And he convinced us, hey, this is, this is what we need to do. But we were scared to death to do this because we knew what we were doing, selling one-off courses. At least we could just get up and work 60 hours a week and we could make it happen, right? But we didn't know how to sell memberships. But on the plane ride back, uh, Joss and I rode first class over to Asia. We were going to Asia. I'm not gonna get on an airplane for 14 hours in the back. I'm gonna get in the front where I've got some room and I can lay down and go take a nap. Right. So we turned our seats together. We had these two seats and they were right beside each other. And we had a little table in between us. And we basically planned to change everything to the membership model in like one month. All right. So we had this plan laid out one month. We got, got home, got off the plane. We bought like 10 different books. We read them as fast as we could. And we were building these membership sites that month. It was really scary to do this because the month, the year before, we had made like a hundred grand in a single month because it was a huge, August is a huge time in our niche. Uh, we sell, we sold lesson plans. So teachers are going back to school and we had had this massive life changing amount of money happen to us before doing it the old way. And we were like, Oh my gosh, if we change it to this membership, you know, we're charging $400 over here. And oh, if we charge like $40 over here, like, that's going to be a lot less money on sales. And like, Oh man, like what if no one buys this and who's going to, who's going to pay $40 a month? For, for lesson plans. Like these are teachers, these are school, our niche is the poorest of the poor, the brokest of the broke. Like how are they gonna go out and do this, man? And, 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 and how are we gonna be able to switch? And we were scared to death because we were like, I mean, we were dusting off our resumes because we were like, man, if this doesn't work, it's been a good ride. Like a couple of years, it's been fun, but we're, we're done if this doesn't work. But we were all in because we were convinced that we wanted more stable income. We wanted our kids to have a safer, uh, we wanted a safer stream of income and a safer job for our family. We wanted to make sure that we could predict our income so that we could hire people and grow and do all these things that we couldn't do in the moment because we had these one hit wonder months, we had these really big months, and then it was like feast or famine living launch to launch. So we decided <laughs> to launch this membership site and lo and behold, we sold so much more volume that we almost made the same in August of 2015 as we did in August of 2014. But the difference was those people that bought in August were gonna pay us again the next month. And they were gonna pay us again the next month and the next month and the next month and the next month. And the pricing wasn't a big deal. We finally learned you don't have to have everybody buy your thing. You just have to have a bunch of people buy your thing. We didn't, some people did write us in and say, this is stupid. I'm not paying $49 a month 
for lesson plans. But then some people wrote us in and said, wow, that's a great deal. You save me so much time every single month in my classroom that I will gladly pay $49 a month for lesson plans. And imagine having 19, 29, 50, or even $100 a month coming from 100 to 200 different people every single month. If you can get your pricing right, people will respond to it. Now, luckily for you, you do not have to fly to Asia to learn how to do this. I'm going to teach you how to do it today. And you don't have to spend, you don't have to pay me $1,000 a month. We're here together. I've got the Q&A box open. I've got the chat room rolling. And I'm right here. I'm here live with you to help you set your prices. Jocelyn and I have sold thousands of memberships since 2015. We've tried every price point you can imagine. Everything from free for a month to a dollar trial, to a $19 trial, to a $29 trial, to $19 a month, to $100 a month. We've charged $500 a month for some of our services and we know how to price. We've helped thousands of people at this point on our podcast and in our community uh, do this. And I just really am passionate about, this seems like such a mundane topic, pricing your membership. Seems like it's like sit down, decide a price, but no, it's really, really important because if you get the hot spot price right, people will flood into your membership. They'll keep it month after month, year after year. You won't, you'll have predictable income and you won't have to worry about it, okay? So let's talk about price. Let's talk about price. Now, one little game I love to play and I love our community. We got community members here. We got people that listen to the podcast. Maybe you're not in the Flip Your Life community. Uh, you need to be. You need to be in the Flip Your Life community. But uh, we got a lot of people in the chat room. So help me stay on track and take notes. When, I, when you hear a note from me, when you hear me make a point, and usually I talk louder when I make a point, uh, somebody put it in the chat and let's keep the discussion going. Let's kind of beat the writer's block and beat, let's call it lurker's block. Let's beat the lurker's block and let's chat and let's talk about this. You guys can have a conversation while I'm going over the material, okay? All right, so number one, let's talk about initial prices. Number one, we're gonna talk about initial prices. This is for people who have not priced their membership yet or maybe you've priced your membership and you think you may have, you, you may have missed the mark, okay? So how do you come up with an initial price for your membership or your subscription that you're selling online? You know, I always say, how do you get 100 people to give you $50 a month? That's $60,000 a year, right? If you can do it 200 times, that's $120,000 a year. So you don't need that many people to make a bunch of money online, but some niche markets are more price sensitive than others. We, uh, some people have to charge $9 a month. Well, okay, to get that same $10,000 a month, I'm going to have to sell a thousand or 900 memberships, right? Some people can charge $99 a month. Uh, uh, we have members in the Flip Your Life community who charge $2.99 a month for a monthly access to their membership because their niche is full of physicians or pharmacists or, you know, uh, people who uh, can afford more on their uh, discretionary spending. So you have to think of a couple different things when you're talking about your initial price. The first thing you should think about, right? The number one thing is the value of the product. The value of the product. Are you providing a service that really generates a lot of value in your customer's life? If you do, then price is probably not gonna be an object. Like we sell uh, trainings on learning how to start, build and grow online businesses. If you do what we tell you to do, and you pay us $100 a month, and you go launch a membership, and you get 10 members at $50 a month, you traded $100 for $500. Now, a month. Now, if someone asked you on the street, hey, if I give you, a, if I give you 500, will you give me 100 back? You would find an ATM, you would dig into your pockets, you would start asking strangers to chip in, you would do anything you could, because if you could trade that money over and over, you would do that. But it's the same thing for anything. Like we trade lesson plans, uh, for money and our uh, U.S. history teacher site and elementarylibrarian.com, our old librarian site. We would trade people, hey, you give us $49 a month. You give us $29 a month over at ushistoryteachers.com and we will give you lesson plans, bell to bell instruction. You'll never have to plan a lesson again. That means you get to go home after school and you don't have to plan a lesson. You don't have to go to the copy machine and, and come up with new things and print them all the time. You get your life back. You get your time back. All that stress 
from creating hundreds of pages of lesson plans every day of the school year is gone. You show up, you teach, you go home, you get to be with your family. That's almost priceless to some people because they don't want to be at home from three to six making lesson plans. They don't want to be at home from, you know, four to six making a test for the next day. They want to be with their family. So it's very, very valuable. And also, people want you to save them time. They want you to show them the path. They want you to lead them. And you're giving all of this to them in your membership community. So don't undervalue what you're actually offering. Always start there. Start with saying, this thing I offer makes people happy. This thing I offer saves people time. This thing I offer makes people money. Like, what does it do and how much is that actually worth to somebody? And really value yourself. Value what you've created. Value your idea. Don't undersell yourself. That's a huge problem we all have and you shouldn't do that. Okay, initial pricing two, point number two, is you are selling your lifelong experience, knowledge, and talents to these people, right? They are not paying for the little thing they get, right? You're not paying for the 30 minute video, okay? Oh, you're not paying for 30 minutes of a video and you're not paying for a PDF or in my print newsletter, you're not paying for the paper that shows up at your house. You're paying for my wisdom. You're paying for access to knowledge. You're paying for access to expertise. I saw this great Facebook uh, viral video one time where this guy wrote in and it was, a, uh, it was a gun holster manufacturer. So he made really, really good like pistol holders that you put like in your waistband. So it's like a, you know, like a phone case or something, but it's like it goes in, instead of a phone going in it, it's your pistol and it goes right there. So these were really high end. They were being sold for like $99, but they were hand stitched, made of the highest quality like materials. Everything was perfect. Well, this guy wrote him a letter and said, hey, I can't believe you're charging $200 for this uh, holster. I priced the materials. The leather is like two bucks. The clip's like a dollar. And then you put the little nails in in your hand and you, know, you stitch it and blah, blah, blah. I could, the whole thing, the materials only cost five bucks. So the guy goes and he cuts a square piece of leather. He puts all the screws in. He gets the clip and he just, uh, the metal for the clip is not even formed into anything because it has to be like melted and forged before it's put on. And he drops all this stuff in an envelope and he writes on it, uh, here, put it together yourself. Right, because the point is, the dude's not paying. You're not paying for the materials. You're paying for the craftsmanship and the elegance. And that one dude is the only one that makes that one thing that well. And that's why you're paying for it, right? He's engraving your initials in the leather and all that stuff. It's the same thing with your membership. You may think to yourself, oh, well, you know, I've recorded like five videos to teach people what I'm going to do. I mean, who's going to, I mean, it's just five videos, right? It's just like two hours. No, what if that thing you teaches them changes their life, right? What if, you, what, if, what if you teach them something that can save them time, save them money, make them happy? Like, what if you teach that to them? Like, how much is that actually worth? And they can't get it anywhere else or they wouldn't be searching it and finding you to sell it to them, right? So you've got to remember what you're actually selling when you're pricing your products. And these first two tips make your prices go up because you're going to undervalue yourself. I know all of you are undervaluing what you're worth right now. And I want you to stop doing it because your products and services are worth way more than you think they are, even on a monthly subscription. And number two, you are not selling them a little commodity that you trade back and forth and it gets consumed and it's gone. You're selling people solutions to problems based on your lifetime of knowledge, wisdom, and experience uh, and skills. So don't undervalue your price. You're, if you set a price, if you think, eh, I'm probably worth 19 bucks a month. You should probably double it. That's a good rule that we go by all the time. If things aren't going well or something's not happening, we just say double the price. That's probably what's going on, okay? All right, initial prices number three. Stop letting your biases uh, keep people from buying your products, right? I hear this all the time from almost every member that has ever joined our community. Well, I just don't know if my niche will pay that price. Who has, who has said that before? Tell me in the chat room. Who has said to themselves, I just don't know if anybody would pay me for this, or I don't know if they would pay that much, or I'm kind of nervous asking that amount. Who has said, yeah, me, uh, TC Miller, Laura, there it goes. I, every time I ask that question, the chat room is going to blow up because we're all guilty of it, okay? But here's what I want you to remember. People will pay anything to solve their problem, 
right? They will pay for solutions. Now, there's a cap, of course. You're going to find a point of diminishing returns. That's an economic term where you get to a certain price point. It goes a little higher and your sales slow down. And then you might back up. But it's kind of like telling a bad, it's like it's kind of like a comedian telling a hardcore joke, right? A comedian's supposed to push past the line and figure out when he gets the groan instead of the laugh. And then the comedian will dial back to where it's actually funny, right? It's like kind of the same way with the price. You want to push to the limit because people will pay way more than you think they will. We would have never imagined going into our business that elementary librarians, uh, people that maybe make thirty to forty thousand dollars a year, high school history teachers, football coaches, would pay nineteen dollars a month, twenty nine dollars a month, thirty nine dollars a month, even forty nine dollars a month just to buy their afternoons back, just to save time. But they did. And no, all of them didn't. In fact, probably 90% of the market didn't. But I don't need 90. I don't need that 90%. I need 100 people to give me $49 a month to make $4,900 a month, right? I need uh, 500 people to give me $50 a month, and I'm going to make $25,000 in a single month. Like, this is not like I need everyone. You need the people that will pay it, and they will pay it. But the problem is we get scared, we get fearful, and we say this. Who has said this out loud before? Well, I wouldn't pay that. I wouldn't join a membership for whatever, whatever. I would not, I would not join a membership for $29 a month. That's the same person that's got Netflix and Hulu and Disney Plus and ESPN, and they've got 17 things they don't even know they're paying for anymore because they opted in for them on their Apple iPhone, and they, they're paying $300 a month in, in stupid nonsense that they just randomly signed up for, but then on their own product, they'll look at it and go, oh, I just don't know if I'd pay that. Yes, if people want it, they will pay it. So you're, you have to remove all emotion from your pricing. You have to remove your biases from your pricing or you're not going to get this right, okay? So base, so what you have to do is price what it's worth, okay? And it, usually that's quantifiable pretty easily. Like I, can, I know ours is quantifiable. Really. In fact, we're probably undercharging for our membership because I, I, we have just got a letter last week from a guy who uh, him and his wife started a membership in the community last January. They were actually on the podcast, Chris and Ivy Newport. And they were on our podcast they, and we're, they're about to come back on the podcast. This year alone, they launched a membership and they made $250,000 selling monthly recurring memberships. And he was like, I never would have thought that so many people would pay us for this, right? So like, it's crazy not to think that people would pay you for something, but you got to remove yourself from it. You got to try. You got to say, I wonder if they would pay this, not I don't think they would pay this. And you have to put the price out there, okay? So everybody post right now your, your price. Post your price in the chat room, all right? And maybe just a little two-word thing about, you know, what you sell. I'll probably know most of you, okay, or some of you. But post your price right now. What are you charging per month for your membership? What are you charging for, uh, per month for your membership, okay? All right, $79 a month project management membership, okay? TC, that's a professional thing. They might be able to get their company to pay for it. You know, you could probably, and honestly, there's no difference in 99 and 79. I don't know why you're not paying $99 a month for that. Um, access to nursing school resources. Uh, who is that? I uh, can't see your name because it's kind of out. Let me see, I need to open this up a little bit. I can't see your name. All right, $25 a month, access to a nursing school membership. If someone passes nursing school, how much money would they make a year? What's the average nurse make? $60,000 a year? $70,000 a year? What's the alternative if they don't pass the nursing school? And you're only charging $25 a month? That's, I mean, come on, man. Like, look at the, look at the ROI. Hey, I joined this membership while I'm in nursing school. I pay 50 bucks a month, so I spend 500 bucks over 10 months to graduate. I spent $500 to make 60 grand a year for life. Do the math. That is way more valuable than $25 a month, okay? All right, let me do one more. Um, let's see. This one's interesting. Hold on, I got a bunch of things. Autism activities for families and teachers. Okay, this one's interesting because it's a very emotional issue, right? It's, and you're charging $22 a month. And I, I know people in these spaces, okay? It's a very touchy subject because you're like, okay, I don't want to charge families too much because, you know, they have autism and maybe they have this and they have that and the kid, you know, they're all dealing with so much. I just, I'm scared to raise my price, scared to go more. But think about how frustrating it is for a, for a, for a parent 
that it wasn't prepared for this, has a child with autism, and all of a sudden, bam, they're dealing with this. They have no clue. We don't have a handbook for, for kids who do not have autism, let alone something like of a kid on the spectrum, right? And our family has uh, dealt with this in different ways too. So I know a little bit about this, this space. But even still, if you are any kind of expert at helping families and teachers do this, at building these resources, and you're spending so much time and effort in that, how much is it? Well, I mean, wouldn't you pay 50 or $100 a month to have that peace of mind? Like if I'm a kid, if I'm a parent, and I've got a kid with a problem, and I'm, and I'm going to go into my own personal story here. Um, we, we have, uh, one of our kids had a medical issue for the first 10 years of their life. I'm not going to get into what it was. But I was, we were going out and we, we were paying hundreds of dollars from uh, doctors all over the country. And I would have paid anything to give our family peace from that issue. Okay. Now that doesn't mean you gouge people, right? But there's a sliding scale where somewhere a higher price and my peace of mind meets. And I've, we found a doctor in New York that we found and he was probably triple the price of anybody else that we use, but they helped us and they gave us peace. Right now we go to counseling with our kids uh, once a month. Um, we go to just counseling. We, we're big believers in counseling. We want to normalize counseling. We think it's good for kids. It's good for marriages. It's good for parents. It's good for everybody, right? To have a third party you can go talk to and help you out, okay? And the reason we went is because one of our children was dealing with a bunch of really emotional, anxious, anxiety issues, okay? And guess what? We, we didn't care what it cost, right? And that person that we pay that we finally found cost more than the other people that we found, but they met us right where we were and she has almost helped us completely eliminate all of the issues that we were dealing with. It was so worth it. And your membership is the same way. So even in an emotionally driven thing like that, if you can remove yourself and say, what is the solution actually worth to the customer? That is probably a higher price membership. I, anything in the twenties is almost always too low. Um, guys, you can go through McDonald's for 20 bucks. People go right now, People are going to get off work in five hours and they're going to go through a drive through They're going to spend 30 bucks on a pizza or something they could eat. But, or they could spend 50 bucks and change their life, fix their family, help their child. Like that's a big deal, man. You got to value what you're teaching there more. Okay. All right. And then uh, let's see here. Um, $49 for moms of young children training the heart. Okay. So this was an interesting one. Uh, there's also a hobby niche. Uh, I think Laura had one. Yeah. Laura is a hobby niche. Sometimes hobby niches are weird to price. Um, because you, one, it's the same thing. Like why would someone pay for this? Not a hobby, not that parenting is a hobby niche, but I'm saying like any niche that's not like you can't quantify, like if you spend this, you'll make more money. Or if you spend this, you'll save X hours of time. It's the same thing. But if you can focus on the peace of mind, focus on what it's worth, focus on what the, the product is, which is a great child with a great heart, right? You know, with manners and things like that. What's that worth to a parent? And not what, what, not what it's worth to all parents. What's it worth to 5% of the parents that would actually pay me 49 bucks a month, 79 bucks a month, 100 bucks a month. That's probably another one that you could go. So price on value, price on its worth. Think about the solution, not the outcome. Don't think about the video and the PDF and all of that. And, I, and then you probably everyone who listed something right there, I would guess that you could double your price and nobody would even flinch. Okay. And even if they did, oh man, what if sale, what if volume drops 40%? Well, you doubled your price. So you're making more money <laughs> right now. All right. Don't now you would never raise prices of people who are already paying you. They're locked in, they stay there, but any new customers, um, you would probably raise your price. Okay. All right. Next. Let's talk about uh, promotional prices. Okay, any questions about initial pricing? Um, any questions you got about initial pricing, I want you to go ahead and put it in the Q&A box. And I am going to be doing another Q&A here in just a few minutes. Um, I want to make sure that I get everybody's questions answered. That's, that's, I'm going to close initial pricing, okay? And I'm going to close, that kind of covered raising your prices a little bit and uh, for your membership. So go ahead and ask any questions you still got. You can ask me specific questions about your niche. If I didn't call you out in the chat room right there, go ahead and put your question in the chat and I'll be able to get to that soon. Uh, I wanna remind everybody again that this is brought to you by, uh, today's free training is brought to you by me, Shane Sams, and Jocelyn Sams from fliplifestyle.com and specifically our print newsletter, Prolific Monthly. This is our monthly calendar and newsletter that we send out every single month that tells you how to promote your memberships and subscriptions. There is no other publication that we know of or can find 
in any way that does what Prolific Monthly does. It is 100% dedicated to getting you more members and making more monthly revenue, making more monthly income. Prolific Monthly, check that out. I'm going to talk more about it at the end of the show, uh, probably right before the Q&A. just wanted to uh, plug that a little bit there. But uh, we have a 20% annual discount right now off the annual price. The annual price already included two free months, right? So it was already $200 off. We lowered it another 20% for the next 24 hours. Uh, so you can get it right now and save almost $400 on an annual subscription to Prolific Monthly. We didn't even offer annual subscriptions a couple months ago. We just started doing this. But uh, we've got it marked off crazy right now for January uh, coming up, 2020 is coming up, new year, new decade. We want to get a bunch of people that are committed to growing their business in 2020 and want to get momentum and want us to walk beside them day after day for 366 days because it's leap year next year in 2020 to help them. So check that out. You can click over there right now, save 20%. I'm going to give you some more information about that in just a few minutes. But right now I'm going to talk about promotional prices, promotional prices. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and start the outline. Promotional prices. All right. So promotional, this is where the magic really happens in subscriptions, but it's really hard to screw it up. Uh, TC, I see your uh, question. If you could go put that in the Q&A box, that'd be awesome. And I'll, I'll, I really would like to talk about that. Okay. All right. So promotional prices are discounts that you offer on your monthly membership. But there's a weird thing that happens in memberships. And that's if you lower the price in the wrong way, which happens all the time. I see people do this. If you lower prices in the wrong way, you can make your current members mad. You probably have had this happen to you. Who here has seen a promotional price from their cable company or direct TV or dish network or spectrum or whoever you've got for cable who has seen a promotional price that's cheaper than what you're paying every month. Anybody ever seen that happen before? Hey, sign up now. I get a full year for, you know, $59 a month. And you're paying $159 a month. You call them, you're like, what are you doing? And then like, oh yeah, we'll lower your price. They're like, what? That makes no sense. <laughs> so like, you know, the, that's what's called the loyalty uh, penalty or something like that. But like, if, if you do the same thing, if you offer, I'm just gonna use round numbers here, but if you have $100 a month product and you lower it and you have a sale that's $75 a month, your people at $100 a month are gonna be like, hmm, that's interesting. Okay. Now you can just give it to them if they notice it, or you can across the board, you know, wipe out your revenue or you can promote things the smart way. You can, you can work around your pricing and work around your discounts and use it and use commitment as bait for people to take advantage of your discounts. Okay. So a very similar thing that, uh, that we, what we do, ah, hold on. I messed up my notes there. All right. What we do is we discount in multiple ways. Okay. Number one, we do trials. Trials are awesome because you can give a short term discount that won't make any of your current members mad. Like if you say, Hey, 30 days for a dollar, but then it goes to the normal price or 50% off for your first month. It's just a real quick in the door, get you in special. But then, you know, for the rest of your life, you're paying the same as everybody else. Right. Okay. So, so you can do uh, 30 days for a dollar, free trials, 29. It doesn't matter what the trial looks like, but trials are a great way to not make current members mad and be able to promote your stuff at a cheaper price going in the door. Okay. All right. Now, the next thing that we do, and this is actually my, the, the best way we have found through thousands of memberships sold and helping hundreds of people sell memberships online is to reward commitment with great discounts, reward commitment with great discounts. Okay. So there's a couple different discounts that work really, really well. And what you would do is set these up and rotate through them. Okay. So a quarterly discount of 33%. Somebody put that in the notes for me. A quarterly discount of 33% off is a great way to promote a membership site. Okay. So again, let's go back to our normal example. Let's say you're charging a hundred dollars a month. So normally $300 would get you three months of service, right? Well, 33% off is basically $100 off, okay? So you can say, hey, buyer, commit to me and I'll commit to you, right? You commit to me and I'll give you a discount, okay? If you say you're all in and you're here and I can count on you as a customer for the next three months, then what I'll do is I'll knock 33% off, but you gotta pay for it up front. You gotta pay the quarterly price up front. You pay 200 today, I'm gonna give you one month free, 33% off. It's going to save you a hundred dollars and you're in, you've got it. You won't pay again for three months. Okay. Now in three months, I'm going to charge you again. It's a quarterly recurring membership, but
But if you'll commit today, I'll save you some money up front. It's kind of like buying in bulk, right? That's why we save so much money when we go to Costco or Sam's Club. We're buying in bulk. So you can tell people quarterly discount 33% off. Now, these numbers are actually really important. Don't just offer random discounts. I want you to use the percentages that I'm telling you, okay? Because if you use the percentages I'm telling you, these discounts will actually play off of each other a little bit too, okay? All right. The next discount that you can offer to, uh, to subscribers is an annual discount of 50% off. We've tested six months. We don't like it. We've never seen it work for anybody. Um, there's just too much. It's too close to quarterly or annual to make any difference. So we pretty much stick with these, these two primary ones. It's like quarterly or annual discount at 50% off, okay? That's a great deal off a of monthly price. You're gonna get a bunch of money up front, right? So you can spend that on ads to sell more members, okay? And it doesn't compete with the quarterly price. It doesn't compete with that quarterly price. So imagine that you're in a year and you've got a, th imagine you're, it's $1,200 for a year for a membership, $100 a month. Okay, let me make sure I'm doing my math right. Okay, all right. So the quarterly thing, if someone stayed for a full year, right, and it's $100 a month, well, each quarter they would lose 100 bucks. So it's $400 off, they'd pay 800 bucks, right? Now an annual price of 50 to, let me say 50 to 60%. You can actually go a little higher, all right? That would only be $600. So the annual price doesn't compete with the quarterly price. People can move from monthly to quarterly to annual. You collect that lifetime value up front right? And then you reinvest it into more marketing so that you can make more uh, membership sales. But an annual price of 50% off is a great, 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 great discount. It's a great price. We actually have that on our membership page right now. It's like $99 a month to join the Flip Your Life community. But we have like a $600 deal. You can say 50%. If you'll commit, you got to commit to the year. Look, I don't mind you paying $50 a month if you tell me you're all in and you show me up front that you're all in. Okay. Now there's some caveats that come with a couple of these. Um, we are very, very, very hardcore about no refunds on quarterly and annual plans, okay? Uh, the reason we do no refunds on those plans whatsoever is because the reason you're getting the discount is we're trusting you to commit to us. We're saying, hey, we'll give you a spot. Hey, we will make less money over time, but more money up front. So we're getting paid up front and we, we are now taking all the risk. So here's the deal. We're committed to you. You're committed to us. If you take advantage of one of our sale prices, it is a no refund policy, okay? So you gotta be a little strict with that. That is something that some people get a little uncomfortable with, but we have never had a problem with it. We have never heard of anybody having a problem with it. Just be very clear in your terms and conditions, very clear in your sales pages. Uh, but these discounts move memberships, right? They let you offer something different every single month. Like imagine if you sent an email out the first Monday of the month and you said, hey, don't forget, we have a membership and it's a hundred bucks a month. Join the day. That's just a general pitch for your membership. But then the next week, you might say, hey, we're offering a seven-day free trial to our membership. That's a different offer for the same product. And then the next week, you could say, hey, I got a quarterly discount going this week, 33% off if you commit for three months. There's another offer, same product, different offer of price. And then in the fourth week, you just say, hey, we got an annual price going 50% off. None of those offers compete with each other right? None of those price points compete with each other, but your people are constantly seeing something different. There's no ad blindness. The frequency can, you can raise your frequency, right? You can open and close it every week forever and sell tons of memberships and you never touch the monthly price. You never made an old customer mad. You didn't have to worry about any of that because you got your pricing and your discounts right, okay? All right, the next one that we, uh, are, uh, that we look at is lifetime memberships, okay? And what we generally do with this is we take the annual discount, okay, and you double it. The annual discount and you double it. This is a special thing that you wanna keep in your back pocket. It's lifetime access to the membership as long as it exists. It's lifetime access to the content as long as the company is still in business, right? It's lifetime access to how it, anything you add new or whatever, you know, it's your membership. It's, as long as your membership is in business, it's lifetime access to that, okay? And that's a great discount to offer for, take the 50% annual plan and double it. So if you have a $1,000 membership for a year and it's $500 for, a, uh, for one year for your annual discount, you could offer a lifetime membership for 1,000, 999 or something. And people could join that and they're just members. They're just good, okay? All right. So those are five really good, wait, is that five? Four really good discounts, quarterly, annual, trials, and lifetimes that do not compete with your normal monthly membership at all, right? 
And they go in and they say, hey, I can show my people something new. Like, like, how do I promote this monthly membership every single month? Now you can highlight content with a discount. Now you can highlight Q and A's with a discount. Now you can highlight new training with a discount. You can highlight community forums with a discount, okay? Getting, your price is your most powerful tool to sell more memberships, guys. That's how you do it. Like you gotta find offers that work for different people, right? So if you've got a thousand people that might buy, some of them will join a trial and then stay in. Some of them will, yeah, I'll take advantage of the quarterly, but I'm not quite all in. Some, of, some people will be like, I'm all in annual. Like I know some people in here are all in on that prolific monthly annual subscription where you can save $400 right now, right? Like go all in on it, there it is. Like, but you, if you offer these discounts over and over and you let people see different things, you're eventually gonna catch somebody and be like, that's a great deal. I think that I could do that, okay? So I just gave you four powerful pricing weapons in your pocket, okay, for next year. So we got your initial price, not undervaluing it. We're gonna start at a good, solid, higher price, right? Um, probably everybody in here needs to double their membership price. I'm just saying, do it. You, you'll be shocked at how well it works. Uh, two, I gave you four uh, weapons in your toolbox uh, that you can use to manipulate your prices, change your prices that don't, compete with each other, don't conflict with anything you're doing monthly, and aren't going to make any of your customers mad, so that takes away all the pressure there. Now, let me tell you the frequency of price promotion. How are you going to do your frequency of price promotion? So I'm going to put this in here. This is point three. Point three, frequency of price promotions. Okay? All right. So it's really important that you use all the tools available to you to sell your membership. And we are big believers in being prolific over in the Flip Lifestyle universe. And we have to be going off and going crazy and selling our stuff every single day. We gotta be marketing all the time. We gotta be doing stuff, but how do you do it, okay? All right, so number one, when you're promoting prices, you need to promote your content daily. You need to promote something daily. That could be a webinar. It could be a blog post. Give me my, where's my note takers? You gotta promote daily, promote daily, promote daily. That doesn't mean sell daily, right? That doesn't mean you have to sell all the time or sell, you know, every minute of every day and wear out your list and all of that stuff. Okay. All right. But you've got to promote something daily. Okay. This week, I've actually got two promotions running every night at 9 PM. I have a 12 days of Christmas. I'm promoting a free trial, a free trial, uh, to the flip your life community and to our email subscribers right now. So every day I've got some scheduled emails and we're promoting a different course inside the flip your life community every day. These are some new courses that we just released and uh, we've made them free for these 12 days. So every day, new course in your mailbox, if you're not on our email list, you're missing out. All right. But like that's promoting a free trial to the flip your life community. So it's like, Hey, here's a free video. They click the link. They're on a page. They have a free video. We know they like a free video. Why not like a free trial? So then at the bottom, it just says, hey, for a free trial until December 26th. We're closing the free trial maybe for a month, uh, maybe two. And if you don't get in now, you're not going to get in before the new year. So we've got a free trial being promoted for 12 straight days right now. But at 9 a.m. Uh, every day this week, um, I've sent an email about this webinar. You know, this webinar was to uh, teach. I wanted to record a new course on pricing memberships because we haven't done an update to our membership pricing course in a long time. So I wanted to really get deep in the weeds on this topic. And two, I want to promote Prolific Monthly, my monthly newsletter, uh, which is all about memberships, all about subscriptions. It's tied to what I'm teaching today, right? And we've got a huge discount going right now and we go to print tomorrow. Like we're gonna have be printing this thing tomorrow, right? Like it's gonna be sent to the printer, emailed in like 9 p.m. tomorrow. He starts printing it, mails them out on Friday so you can get them by the new year. So I promoted daily this week content, right? This webinar is content. I hope you're getting a great amount of value about this. Never heard anybody talk about those discounts like that before. That's going to, somebody in here is going to make a bunch of money off that discount thing. If you'll just go take action on it, I promise you. Somebody's going to make a lot of money off doubling your prices just because you know you can. So I'm hoping I'm giving you a lot of value, but I also want to promote something. And I use my email list and I promote it daily to do that. Okay. Now you have to pitch weekly, at least you got to pitch weekly, right? And people are like, oh God, I don't like to pitch anytime. I only, I only send people a pitch like once a month. What am I doing? No, you have to, you have to pitch every week. You got to make money every week, guys. The goal is to stack members over time, right? Like I want 10 members this week and then I want 10 members next week. 
And then I want 10 members the next week and the next week. And after 52 weeks, adding 10 members a month, I've got 500 members. If I'm charging $50 a month, that's a lot of money, right? So we're, the goal with a membership is lower energy. We're the turtle, not the hare, right? We're the tortoise, not the hare, not the rabbit, right? We're trying to go slow and we're trying to go low energy. We're not doing big launches and then crash. Big launch. No, it's like, all right, 10 more members. What am I going to pitch this week? 10 more members. I got 10 free trials this week. Boom, let's go. I got 10 quarterly members this week. Boom, let's go. I got 10 annual members. I got 10 monthly members. I got 10 lifetime members. Woo, $10,000, right? Whatever. Like that's the goal is to pitch weekly. So you promote daily to give value. You pitch weekly, right? And that's a lot of content. There's a lot. I mean, you got to write a lot of emails. You got to, you know, go out and make some stuff. I'm not saying this is easy. I'm just saying it's simple if you'll do it, right? But you need to promote daily and pitch weekly. And then, of course, you need to plan monthly so that it's relevant to your audience, right? We always think every single day when we, or every single month when we plan out our promotional calendar, when I plan the calendar that's in Prolific Monthly, I sit and think, what is my avatar, my perfect customer going through in their life this month? What's happening in January of 2020? How can I get into my, my avatar's head? How can I think like them? And then how can I uh, not only pitch something to them, but pitch the right offer at the right time? For example, do you know why I'm doing uh, free trials uh, for the 12 days of Christmas? Somebody give me a guess. Who, think, who thinks they know why I'm doing free trials right now? Why is that the promotion that I strategically pick for my 12 days of Christmas promotion okay one it's relevant it's really relevant to me. oh that's good all right oh that's that's enough all right new year's resolutions good people starting it's a gift it's a gift that's part one right it's a gift from shane and jocelyn we are giving away 12 and i'm telling you these are good courses these are high quality courses we actually recorded these and taught these uh to flip your life live attendees last year they've never been released they're not in the flip your life community this is the first time anyone outside has seen these there were our prerequisite trainings not the event itself I'm gonna sell that later. But this was our prerequisite trainings and, they're really, and, they, and they point directly to our community, right? And it's a free gift, I'm just giving a gift. It's Christmas, man, what do you do at Christmas time? You give gifts. What is your avatar doing? Buying gifts, giving gifts, receiving gifts, right? That's what people are thinking about right now. And I don't want my membership in December to compete with you buying your kid's Christmas present. I'm not going to win. I'm going to lose that fight every time, and I don't want to do it. I want you to spend all your money this month on your kids, man. I want you to go out and buy the bicycle, buy the Xbox, buy the fishing pole. Whatever it is you're buying for your kid, I want you to keep your money for your kid this month. But if you want to take a chance and you're ready to go all in and you want to do this in the new year, here's a free trial. you got 30 days to get started. I know the holidays are busy, but that'll let you kind of roll into the new year. you got a free trial. So it's the, the offer and the price is totally related to exactly what my avatar is experiencing right now. Now, I'll tell you right now what I'm offering uh, for, uh, we're gonna do a webinar and we're gonna sell memberships, I think on January 2nd, all right? I'm gonna be selling annual memberships because people are saying New Year's resolution, new year, new me, new decade. Oh, new decade. This is a unique opportunity in marketing. Maybe I'll offer a lifetime too, right? You're changing your life, you're changing your year, you're changing your decade, you might as well commit to a year or a decade right? So let's go all in. We're going to be here a decade from now. I know we are. You're going to be here a decade from now, hopefully. So let's go. Let's do it. Let's, let's commit. So you're, you're constantly trying to strategically link promotions together that make sense. That makes sense. Like for Valentine's Day, you might be able to do a gift to someone else, right? That's what you do on Valentine's Day. You buy a gift for somebody else, okay? So there's lots of different things you do. And we talk about all that in that uh, each month. That's what, we, that's what we do in Prolific Monthly every month. I take a calendar, I strategically plan out price points. See that? That's the right way, right? Nope. This is the right way. Is that the right way? I can't tell. All right. There you go. There's a calendar in there, and I go through every single day. I think we have some subscribers in here right now if you want to talk to somebody about it. Uh, if you have any questions about Prolific Monthly, let me know. But I actually tell you what to do every week. I just tell you, all right, do this daily. Write these emails every day. Uh, here's what we're going to pitch this week. We're all doing a quarterly price because this is what it is, whatever. Or I might come up with some other – you know, there's lots of other strategies like bonuses and there's other price points that, you know, I'm just trying not to go too deep here. Um, I don't want to overwhelm anybody, but um, that's what I do every single month in prolific monthly is I tell you exactly what to do every day, exactly what to pitch every week. And I give you your monthly plan. Right. And then we open it up where you can send me an email if you have any questions. about it. 
All right. So prize points, let me review. I'm going to review some prize points right here. All right. One, initial prices. Price on value. You are valuable. Your stuff is valuable. Double your prices. You probably all could do it. Okay. If you're under $100, I bet you could double your price and you would make more money. All right. Uh, you're selling your knowledge and wisdom, not the thing. You're not selling a piece of paper. You're selling everything you've ever learned to put on that paper. It's very valuable. And people will pay way more to solve their problems than we think they will or give them credit for. Do not let emotion dictate your process, your prices. Number two, promotional prices. Uh, three great offers are free trials, quarterlies, and annuals. The quarterly is 33%, annuals 50%. Lifetime is generally two times that annual discount. That's a good place to start. And frequency of offers. You got, if you're not promoting daily and you're not pitching weekly, you are not making as much money for your family as you could. Bottom line, the more prolific you get in your marketing, the better and more money you will make. I promise. And you got to have a monthly plan. You got to have a monthly plan. All right. So I see some questions here. I'm about to open it up for questions. Anything about memberships or pricing or promotions? This is your chance. I'm going to spend about 15 to 20 minutes answering questions. Uh, it's first come, first serve. There's five already in there. You better ask them now whatever questions you have, hit that Q&A button and we will go over that. Do want to pitch one more time my prolific monthly newsletter. Listen, guys, I'm very passionate about this project. I just launched this this year. It has changed lives and changed businesses. Um, it's actually loose right now because I'm still working on it, getting ready to send it to the printer uh, for January. January is going to be a really big deal, really big month. You don't get the first month of a decade except every 10 years, right? If you do the math on it, like this is a, there's some really huge marketing and promotions opportunities, guys. Lots of people are going to be committing long-term to things like membership subscriptions. The stuff that you sell is going to be, people are going to be looking for that. Christmas is out of the way. No more gifts. Thanksgiving's over with. The holidays are over. Families are gone. They don't have to spend any money until summer vacation. January could be a really big time for you. But listen, most businesses, a lot of businesses, they create some self-fulfilling prophecies this time of year. Ah, oh, my customers are broke. Everybody's sales drop on the holidays. That, you know, I might as well not even try. I'm not going to market very much. That is bogus. We have made more money in January every single year than we ever made in any month we ever worked for somebody else, right? I'm telling you right now, memberships are where it's at and people are going to be subscribing. A lot of people are switching to membership stuff. And if you don't market and you don't have a plan, you are going to miss a once in 10 year opportunity to actually take advantage of this marketing. You know, the marketing, you can say things like it's a new year. It's a new decade. What if you committed to doing X, Y, Z that I teach, right? What if you change something about what you're doing? What if I helped you do that and you can get people to join your membership? So do not think we don't let slumps happen in our house. We don't take anybody saying, oh, January down month. No, bull crap. We're going to have the best January, the best months. We're going to set the bar really, really high for 2020. We're going to make so many sales and so many membership sales and so much money. The bar is going to be really hard to reach for the rest of the year. That's what happens. Last January, I think was our biggest. It might've been one of our biggest months ever. We were selling like three different products and we were just killing it. We came up with all these different offers. So you can sell a lot of stuff in January, but you better be prepared for it. And if you need a marketing plan, if you're not ready yet, I've got your back. I got your back. I'll be in your mailbox. I'll be right there helping you every single day in January, promote your stuff. Okay. All right. So let me jump into these questions. All right. If you have not asked your question in the Q and A, I am not scrolling back through the chat. Okay. To answer questions. You got to put it in the Q and A. Okay. TC says, <laughs> I'm starting my membership, but realize that people need help one stage earlier. That means they will not be able to afford my membership at the current price. Wrong. That is wrong. That is not right. Okay, hold on. I love you, TC. I, I know TC. I've hugged TC in person, so I can be a little harder on her sometimes. All right. How do I decide what my new price should be and when to charge it? The additional course. You're, 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 you're a, if your membership is the end goal, it doesn't matter. Like That would be like me saying, oh, $100, $99 a month for my... Uh, $99 a month for our membership over at fliplifestyle.com. Oh, well, somebody that's not got an idea yet wouldn't pay that. They're one step back. Or somebody hasn't started a product. Other one, no. They are behind the point that I have set as the place they need to get to. Anyone behind that needs to join, right? But if you think people can't afford it, you're just going to lower your price ad nauseum indefinitely. I do not 
$79 is not a huge price. It's not a huge price for that, right? If you're selling to uh, TC sells to project managers, if they already have jobs or they're trying to get a new job, this is, that is a biz op business. If they do what you tell them, then they will make tons more money than $79 a month at their project management job, right? So it is not even close. The, the value that you're offering is not even close to what you're charging, let alone you want to go cheaper. If it's one stage earlier, then make the stage and put it in the membership and charge the same price for everybody. That just means you have another segment of people that could join your membership, TC, right? So go out there and say, okay, wait a minute. They're one stage back. I need to create three courses to get them where I've already created. Done. Do it in a week. And then you put it in there, and now you can market to all of those people too. You don't have a price problem. You've got an audience solution. You're about, to, you're about to double the people that could buy your membership. In fact, I think you should raise it to $99 a month. I'm just saying. Okay. All right. Crystal says, is there a right time to do a dollar trial? I've thought about doing it in the future. Should I use it at a time where I'm having trouble getting members? Yeah, uh, yes. The longer you're in your membership, okay? Like the, when you have data, like Joss and I have flipped lifestyle has existed uh, let's see, 2014 is when we launched that. So that's five years old, going on six years old. So, you know, we got six years of data that I can look at and I can be like, you know, this is, the, I can look and see what things happen. And I'm trying to use data, I'm not, I'm, no emotion, right? No fat, you know, I, I want facts, not feelings, okay? And I'm looking at it, I'm like, hey, there were dips here. Why were there dips here? Let's think about our avatar. Let's have a discussion about it. Let's look at this. Let's look at how trials did during that period. Let's look at, we, we, you know, six times in March, I've had six Marches and I have six Aprils to offer quarterlies. How did quarterlies do in March? How did quarterlies do in April? How did free trials, you know, when you get some data behind it, you'll be able to look like Christmas. We know Christmas is trials and I, it, it, trials work the best of anything we've ever sold during Christmas time. So let's do trials. Let's do what works. I don't want to be the smart guy that figures it out. I just want to look and say, that works. Do more of that. So you'll get more data on this. You're in your first year of your membership, Crystal. And there's no, and the right time in your niche might be different than the right time in other niche markets. Um, but you've got some uh, calendar advantages because you do sell to teachers and things like that. So you might be able to look at summers when they're, they're low on, into summer, they're low on cash, right? So give them a break, right? Give them a chance. Um, Christmas, long cat, you know, things like that. Like there's no right time to do a dollar trial. You just have to keep trying to do a dollar trial. Now, another thing that we do with dollar trials, I'll do that on what I call soft offers. So Jocelyn and I did a podcast. I was on two, I got interviewed twice yesterday. I did a summit where I talked about memberships. And then Jocelyn and I got interviewed on a podcast uh, called The Entrepreneur Way, which should be out by the time anyone sees this, right? No, nah, maybe not, but it's, it's coming out. So we got interviewed twice. I didn't really have a opt-in ready to go crystal i didn't know what to do so i didn't have time to put anything together these interviews kind of came up fast so i just said hey i'm gonna grab a free trial and i'll just offer their members a free trial so or, or, or i could have done a dollar trial too i would probably use a dollar trial i try to save the free trials as much as possible for our email subscribers um but every once in a while i'll use a free trial or dollar trial like when i go publicly on something because it's just a great way to let people come in kick the tires and check it out right when they don't know a lot about you um the, rotating the offers is more valuable don't try to figure out the right offer at the right time by yourself. Five years from now, look back and you'll figure it out, okay? Your job right now, Crystal, is to, make it, is to promote daily, pitch weekly, and plan monthly. And your job is to rotate your offers. And, and I will tell you, I will give you guidance on what I'm thinking is happening, what I'm seeing is happening. Remember, I get to see, you know, not just our, uh, so we currently own three membership sites. Uh, we've sold one and I get to see hundreds of people every day in the Live community. So that calendar, Crystal, in Prolific Monthly is your guide right now. Just use it. Just use it. Like offer the trials when it says to do the trials. Do the quarterlies when it says to do the quarterlies. I'm thinking in a broad swath of all the, all the different niches and what's working. I have more data than anybody else does because we get to see all these membership sites. So use that. After a couple of years, you'll start getting a feel of your uh, particular niche. Okay. All right. What about beta or founding members? Okay. Great question, Martha. So Martha's asking, what do you price for beta members? Like when you launch your membership for the first time, what do you do? What do you do? Well, the goal is to keep beta members below what you'll charge anybody else ever. Okay. And, and it's also a great way to test price sensitivity in your market. Okay. But usually when you come up with a value price, like if you say, you know what, this is worth $50 a month. 
I always recommend 50% off for beta members monthly. If you're the first 50 people, you're $25 a month for life. Okay. You're my people. You're my peeps, right? Like we sold a course for $400 before the membership. Um, and we just grandfathered them in and, and they're still in there for free. And then our first beta that we ever did was like 29 bucks. And we were like, that was stupid. We had 120 people join the first night. We're like, we should have charged triple that for beta members and then doubled it. <laughs> but like, you know, so like whatever you think the value of the price is, beta members need to come in really cheap, um, but cap it at 50. No more than 50 people ever get to be beta members and you'll, and you'll be fine. You're just trying to get that initial influx of, of people and don't overcomplicate it. It's like, take the price you want to charge, half it, sell 50 of them, and then move on to the next price. Go on, raise the price and tell everybody you're raising the price so they'll come by, okay? All right, Alex says, before we double our prices, should we send out a few emails offering existing price to our email list? 1,000%. That is high level thought right there, uh, Alex. Good job, dude. Uh, yeah, or that might be, is that a, are you male or female? I don't know. Is that, that's a weird spelling of Alex. Um, yes, you should totally 100% do that. Like when you raise your prices, like you're going to constantly raise your prices, right? Until you find the price that nobody will buy and then you back up. So like always tell people like send, send 72 hours, raising the price, 48 hours, raising the price, 24 hours, price is raised. And that'll get a bunch of people in at the new price. They're never going to be mad because now your price is higher. They get to lock it in forever and you're good. Okay. All right. I'm female. Okay. Gotcha. All right. I knew, I knew, I knew the I and the Alex I was like, some, some, I don't think so. I can't see you though. It's only text. I don't know. All right. So listen, I'm pumped up. Good. Let's see, I think I have another question. Nope. That was just earlier. Right? All right. If you have any more questions, I'll take maybe one or two more. Uh, one more time, guys, I want to tell you, this is the best deal I will be offering all year on Prolific Monthly for the annual plan. The annual plan is normally $997. I'm giving you 20% off. It's already $200 discounted, the annual plan, off of our monthly price. Prolific Monthly is $99 a month. If you do what it says, you will make more than $99 back a month, period. It's going to help you market your stuff every day. It's going to help you promote your stuff every week, and you're going to have a plan for the month that you can use. This is my baby. This is my pet project. I go to bed thinking about this every night. I love this thing. I launched this thing this year. It's been out now for about six months. It's been a huge success. And most importantly to me, I've seen so many people that were stuck and plateaued in their membership site. And they just didn't know how to market it. They had a great product. They had some customers, whatever. They had an audience that were trying to sell it to. And they just didn't know how to promote it. And I'm like, well, I know how to do that. I do it every single day. And I see hundreds of other people do it every day. I know what basically, you know, hundreds of people are doing in their marketing for memberships and subscriptions, because that's what we teach. I'm going to put this in a calendar, tell you what to do every single day of the month. You literally just open it and say, January 1st, do this. January 2nd, do that. And it has a paragraph for each day explaining what to do, all of that. And I'm, I've started including my private email in there. Uh, that we're subscribers. If they get stuck, they can shoot me an email and they ask me a question. That bypasses my assistant. That bypasses uh, our uh, customer support ticket. It bypasses the form. You just kind of shoot an email in if you get stuck on it, okay? So we've got it. Uh, everything's there for you in 2020 to promote your stuff every day of the year. 366 days of promotion, guys, right there. And you can save almost $400 um, if you join right now on the annual plan. If some of you maybe... Um, if some of you are subscribers right now, you can upgrade to that. Go ahead and buy the annual plan and then uh, shoot us a message and we'll uh, stop the monthly payments. And uh, you'll be committed. You'll be in. You'll save $400 next year and you will make your money back on that thing. It's going, if you do what it says every single day in 2020, you're going to make your money back on that investment. I love marketing, but I really love marketing memberships and I love marketing subscription services. And I want to help anybody here today, anybody that hears this, anybody that sees this, with their marketing next year. We go to print 24 hours, guys. You got one day to take advantage of that deal, then I'm taking it down. So check that out. If you get to the sales page on Prolific Monthly, the promo code is Jan2020. I'm gonna put that in there too. If that, that link should have it already in there though, okay? All right, so I got a couple more questions, I think. Let me see here. I uh, got to see, Brooks got a question. What sort of a markup should we charge for access to us like through Facebook Lives, Q and A's and such? Hmm. So usually, I mean, the general rule is double. That's, I'd, I'd say, what we usually go with. I don't think there's a hard and fast rule there. I mean, more is the answer. Like, like for example, what Brooke's talking about here is say you've got a, I'm shaking my desk here. I'm probably wiggling here. The, uh, so say you've got a content area, right? And you've got 20 courses in there and, you know, you charge $49 a month to get to the courses 
and there's a community area where people can talk to each other. And maybe that's $49 a month. But then you have another tier where you do a weekly Facebook live in the private Facebook group only for people subscribed at the second tier. Well, charge a hundred for that. Double it. Okay. Try double, try double, start there, see where it works. And, uh, you know, like I said, keep it simple. Um, if it sell, if you sell one, that's our rule. If one person buys it at the other price, more people will buy it. We just have to market it correctly, marketing it correctly, promoting it prolifically. Those are the, that, that, that solves all problems in, in business. A buddy of mine just bought a famous goal setting course recently. I'm not going to name names cause I don't want to call anybody out on here, but he got in there and he paid for it. And he was like, this is terrible. It was boring. It was mundane, but man, the marketing was good. <laughs> like, right? Like this is so good. He was like, yeah, it's goal setting. It's, you know, it's good. It's well done, but it's like, eh, yeah, it's like meh, right? Who wants to, I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to sell anything that's meh, you know? And, uh, but man, the marketing made it look like it was the greatest thing ever. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, getting the, if you have a great product that is a great offer plus great marketing, you're going to make as much money as you, as you want to. So yeah, I would definitely double the price on that. Um, if we were going to do that, like our price to talk to us for Voxer access, uh, it's like five X a month, what the membership is. Um, we've offered a price in the past for a standard membership for content only, but we just retired that. Um, anybody that's got it can keep it, but we're not going to sell that anymore. And it was like, you know, it was probably four times as much to join uh, the one that gives us a QA. and a Okay. All right. All right, guys. Great job. Great training today. Really excited about this topic. Um, pricing, man. It, 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 keep it simple. Don't get too, you know, covered up with it. Like, don't str Just pick one. If it's wrong, you'll know. No one will buy it. Or too many people will buy it and you'll have to raise the price. <laughs> Because everybody is like, that's a great deal. I'm going to buy it quick. And also, again, guys, I really want you to subscribe to uh, my marketing newsletter, Prolific Monthly. If you need help marketing your memberships and subscriptions, you know, we just had uh, two more people like last month go over the thousand member mark in the Flip Your Life community. And lo and behold, they're both subscribers to Prolific Monthly. They're both subscribers to my print marketing newsletter. I'll show it to you one more time. This is the uh, rough cut. I'm still penciling in and doing a few things. Every month, I've got a call to action. I have a calendar inside that shows you what to do every single day of the month. And we have workbook style pages inside of it where we can help you think through the problems. And my beautiful, amazing, completely smarter than me wife, Jocelyn, uh, also has a marketing suggestion call to action. It's a supplement to the monthly calendar to give you more ideas um, if you want to kind of fudge up a little bit the calendar a little bit and do some of Jocelyn's stuff too. So it is absolutely incredible, guys, what's happening for subscribers of Prolific Monthly. I put a lot of time, a lot of effort into it. I practice what I preach. This is the plan that I will be enacting for our memberships and subscriptions. I'll use Prolific Monthly to guide ushistoryteachers.com, to guide flipplifestyle.com, the Flip Your Life community, and even marketing for Prolific Monthly. So, you know, I would not put my, I would not bet my money on my uh, marketing. I would bet my money on my marketing plan. You should do. This is what I'm using for my family. And I want you to use it for your family too. So I'm going to drop that link one more time in. This is the best deal that we offer any time in the year. Um, it's $99 a month usually. Um, we have an annual plan for $9.97. That takes two months off of the price. And that will get you 20 additional percent off. So it's almost $400 if you're paying monthly. So go ahead and check that out over at www. Oh, no, this is a different link for this one. I'm going to drop it in there. If you want to learn a little bit more about the product, let me drop that in there for you too. Let me make sure I can get to it because I want you to see that. You can, so let me jump over here and get you a sales page. If you want to learn more about this, let me grab the link. Click on that. Whoop, one more time. If you have any questions about Prolific Monthly, you can shoot them in the chat right now. There we go. All right, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about what Prolific Monthly does. Let's see if that's the right thing. Make sure I'm sending you to the right place. That'd be hilarious. All right, there we go. All right, check that out now. That's the uh, information page. And Jan 2020 is how you get the promotional code, but you got to click that link. I've got it in the chat right now. 
for the annual discount. Biggest annual discount I've ever offered on this thing. Super excited about it. You commit to me, I will commit to you. I'll be there for you every single day of the month in 2020, helping you market, helping you promote, helping you put the right price in front of the right person at the right time so that you can market your membership, you can grow your membership. I want you to go from 100 members to 200 members to 300 members. Like memberships can set you and your family free. This is a new year, year. it is a new decade, and we are super excited about it. We cannot wait for all the things that are going on in our community, and our membership sites. We're gonna be marketing like crazy, because you know that's how we're prolific around here. And uh, I want you guys to be along with us for the ride. So that's next level stuff. You're a member of the community. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe now. Save 400 bucks next year. If you've got a membership that's $50 a month, if you use Prolific Monthly next year to get like 15 members, you've paid for it, right? All you got, and that's, that's just in one month. You get 15 members, to, uh, get 20 members, pay $50 a month, that's a thousand bucks. You already made your money back and you've already got 20 people paying you month after month after month. What if they pay you two months, three months, four months? That investment can triple itself, 10X itself. All you gotta do is sign up. So check that out, Prolific Monthly. I'm gonna leave that up for just a few minutes here. But uh, I am going to jet out of here real quick because I got a ton of stuff. And our kids got out of school today at 12 o'clock. Jocelyn just went to get them. That's why she's not here today. But uh, so we are, we are officially on Christmas vacation <laughs> with the children. But uh, uh, we don't ever take a break or a vacation from helping our community succeed. So thank you guys for coming today. Hope you learned something. Hope it was helpful. Hope to see you in your mailbox over in uh, Prolific Monthly this month. And I really hope to see everybody here in the Flip Your Life community. Go to fliplifestyle.com if you want to learn more about what me and Jocelyn do for our members. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Till I see you next time. Get out there. Take action. Merry Christmas. Do whatever it takes to flip your life. See you then.